Let's see, what was that question about that you had about the um, about civil and what makes me proud to be a civil engineer? Okay, you ready? A lot of my motivation comes from my prior military service. In 1976, I enlisted in the United States Air Force and I went into the security police career field. From there, I was finishing up my bachelor's degree and then was selected for officer training school. It helped prepare me for our leadership roles. You learn responsibility, uh, you learn a lot of accountability, and uh, from there, you know, became a commissioned officer and uh, completed 24 years in the, in the Air Force. I was retired and an um, opportunity came up for a civilian position here in civil engineering at Eglin. As a housing branch chief, I have full responsibility for the dormitories here on Eglin. In the dormitories, we're also charged with mentoring the young airmen. My staff works compliance. They also work housing referrals to assist military members find affordable, suitable housing in the local community. For me, the Military Housing Office is more than just facilities, it's more than just the buildings. It's, it's all about the people that we support. If you don't support your people and take care of your people, that can have a truly negative effect on morale and retention. And taking care of your people should be number one. In uh, 2017, I had an opportunity to deploy to Afghanistan as a civilian. I was in Kabul, the, the capital city, and responsible for all the U.S. Um, logistics and support and budget. I found it was an opportunity to find out what our military members are facing today. My background really helped to be able to identify needs they, they had with furnishings, you know, like mattresses, beds. Um, everything, the cleanliness of the facilities. It was November, it was a very frigid, cold night. There was a British uh, security compound that was attacked by the Taliban, a car bomb, and then the insurgents came in and killed several of the civilians there. Over 200 of them were evacuated to our location. I was asked to provide some toiletries um, for the evacuees and I went to the tent area to see for myself and it was more than, more than toiletries. They were in their underwear, no shoes, no socks, no coats. We put out an all call to collect items, collect money to try to find what we could to clothe these folks. No one turned us down for any, any request. They pitched in what they could, what they had for the 200 plus people. You don't do things like that expecting recognition. Having been military myself, and then I see what our people go through now with the higher ops tempo, what the families go through, we, we owe them that support and dedication because that's, that's what we're here for. It's not just a job. If you need something done, I guarantee you civil engineers will always be there. I was recently diagnosed with breast cancer and the outpouring of support from my unit has been just absolutely tremendous. So many people don't, don't have that kind of support, you know what I mean? But my fellow civil engineers came to my aid and I don't have to worry about a ride to treatment, I don't have to worry about um, groceries or food. They're a very compassionate and caring group of people, and I am extremely fortunate to be a part of that group. My name is Kathy Lawhon, and I'm a United States Air Force Civil Engineer.